this maybe it's uh, I'm having problems camera problems today so when you're running and it's a 12 volt signal uh, you get 12 volts to start and then she should back off to about between 7 and 8 volts this one I've got is actually running at about 5 to 6 but it, it is a 12 volt ballast coil but it's still getting warm when it's running or just left in the ignition key state so I've not done anything unto I mean I've had the loom out on the top of the dash uh, but there's nothing that I've connected which shouldn't have been or there's nothing left unconnected I mean if something was left unconnected something wouldn't work maybe I've connected up something which shouldn't be connected but I need to retrace my steps on that for the wiring loop and uh, the voltage setting for the, the, the coil system so obviously this has got a lumination system in it and I've looked on some forums and stuff and yeah it is, it's a real bit of a minefield there for people with different systems and uh, the coil circuits. So, I mean, it's just coil. You know, LDI by DT, you're creating a spark as long as you've got a voltage. And I guess because my voltage is slightly low, that change in time going through the distributor system is creating a spark. And yeah, it's, uh, it's a strange one. And uh, I know it's an apparent issue, but one where you know I I just I'm trying to rack my brains as to what I've done with this thing because beforehand it used to run like a dream it used to run no problem and the time it's almost as if it's pinking or the timing's out but it's definitely not that and uh, it's obviously something to do with the firing circuit so that's a uh, one to look at I think and uh, one that I, I shall be getting at but apart from everything else this uh, I mean all the plugs are good I checked all the plugs um, I checked did a compression test on the four cylinders and I had uh, 100 100 105 30 <laughs> on four and I was, oh my word when it overheated I must have had a problem with the uh, <laughs> the head but because I'd had all the induction off and everything and even though I covered everything up to make sure nothing could get in there may have been something inadvertently got in and uh, I think on the on another attempt when I ran the compression test she went bump bump up and she had a step change right up to 60 plus and then I thought okay so it wouldn't have done that if, it, if there was a problem with the with the head it wouldn't have done a step change so I think something obviously changed inside so it was more likely something on the valve seat that needed burning off and uh, of course when she came up I pulled plug four and the engine definitely changed so I I keep needing to do another compression test now to see what that cylinder four is and uh, but obviously I had this coil issue uh, that I'd like to, to resolve I've just pulled into Devil's Point now just to uh, as the day clears to take a nice little trip out and do the car test run and see how she pulls up and down the hills I mean, she's not bad but I'm a bit loath to give it full gas where's that going? is that going to Mill Bay isn't it? I thought that's going to Mill Bay yes it's going to Mill Bay I'm at Devil's Point yeah which is uh, just around the corner so she's reversing in can't hear his beep 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 Yes, I'll probably get that down this morning. Bit of a wind up today. It's a bit of a chill in the wind, I must say. But, apart from anything else, the brakes are rubbish as normal on this. And, uh, yeah. Just, uh, it's getting on for 43 years old. And i got to say, for a Triumph DR7, that's without having any major work done on the bodywork or yeah, major replacements I think she's lasted pretty well but I'm going to have to get to the bottom of this coil issue otherwise something's going to end up frying I guess 
and uh, pound to a penny has got to be something that I've done or haven't done and uh, that's the update for the seven so I'll leave it there I think the joy of motoring with old cars but I'll probably get her across to uh, get her across to Mount Edgecombe again and I'll leave it there as many more people are turning up now. Okay.